My name's Paul Teasdale, I'm the Chief Field Officer with RPH. I also cover the counties of Cheshire, Shropshire, Staffordshire and the West Midlands, which keeps me out of mischief. Um, I've been with RPH now for nine years, just over nine years. Prior to that, I was the Chief Inspector in charge of Greater Manchester Police Mounted Branch. And my day-to-day -day duties involve uh, investigating complaints of cruelty, neglect, welfare issues around the counties, which keeps me quite busy. The Moncton case was a case I dealt with quite recently down in Worcestershire in a place called Bromyard. This chap had three uh, small ponies, Section A uh, ponies, in a very dark, dismal barn. When I say dark, I mean we had to use torches to actually see what we were doing in this barn. They were enclosed, or prisoned I would prefer to call it, in tiny little eight foot by eight foot pens within this barn. They were living, breathing, eating and sleeping on their own droppings. There was three foot of droppings in, uh, in the, each of these cages. The feet had grown to some 18 inches in length, they'd not been touched for over 18 months, our farrier reckoned, and they were crippled. Uh, the place stunk, they hadn't been mucked out for probably 18 months, the same as the feet, yet this chap, believe it or not, reckoned he lunged them twice a week. Now, if he did, he must have been very strong to lift them over the barriers, because we had to use spades to dig them out, and when we got them out and got them into the open, we could see just how bad the feet were. This story, though, has a nice happy ending because not only did the owner of the, the ponies go to prison for, uh, for a short time, he also received a lifetime ban from keeping horses. And I saw a bit of foot video footage the other day, you know, and these two ponies were galloping and bucking about in the fields like most ponies should do, enjoying themselves, and I'll tell you what, it really does give you a buzz when you see something like that. If you're concerned about the welfare of any equine anywhere in your area, for goodness sake, give us a ring. Our UK welfare hotline number is 0870 871 1927. That's 0870 871 1927. We make two promises to you. We'll always go, usually get there within three days, sometimes less if it's urgent, and we'll always get back to you and let you know exactly where we're up to with the case.